Show, don't tell is an important concept when it comes to storytelling. Telling a story through actions, feelings, and powerful dialogue is a lot more powerful than just, say, dumping exposition onto an audience. The problem with the anime Darling in the Franks is that at times it feels like it doesn't use this concept to its full potential. Darling in the Franks is a show about a post-apocalyptic society in which humanity is under attack from monsters known as Klaxosaurus. To counter this, humanity has built giant fortress cities and protects them from the Klaxosaurus by raising children to become pilots of giant mechs called Franks. The main story revolves around a boy named Hero, who just recently failed his test to become a full pilot, and a mysterious girl named Zero Two, who has horns on her head. They meet one day and form a strange bond that makes them become co-pilots, or darlings, as it's called in the show. One of the main issues with Darling and the Franks is that we rarely get to feel the threat of the Klaxosaurus. This is because the show seems to lose focus. At times it feels like the show is split between intense mech fighting and scenes of melodramatic teenagers standing around and bickering about drama. There's nothing inherently wrong with having a story slow down and have more dialogue heavy scenes. The problem is when the show doesn't blend these elements in a cohesive way. It feels like Darling in the Franks comes to a halt at times to deliver exposition and dialogue moments while having action moments remain separate. A show that does this concept similar but in a much better way is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion has a similar story of a post-apocalyptic city being defended by teenagers, and it has a sort of similar structure of having high intense action sequences while also having more calm dialogue driven sequences. A show like Evangelion incorporates these two elements much more seamlessly however and does a better job of weaving them together. This is because the focus of a show like Evangelion is the psychological state of its characters. Because of the focus that Evangelion has, every situation that occurs feels important and necessary as it all relates to the mental state of each of its characters. Because Darling in the Franks lacks a clear narrative focus that other shows similar to it do very well, it often feels like exposition is delivered during the show and that exposition feels very unattached to what's actually occurring. The show is telling us about what's happening without showing it. Despite all this, Darling in the Franks still has some redeeming qualities. The show has a nice art direction and fun character designs for the most part, and the relationship between Zero Two and Hero is interesting to watch. I just feel like because there's a disconnect between the exposition dialogue scenes and the heavy, intense action scenes, it makes the show suffer as a result.